it's Lil Lu. Welcome back to my channel. So I am going to be making some vegan curry for my vegan friends. Woo -woo. <laughs> okay, so I have made this curry like two times. This would be my third time. Um, the first time I made this, I was just really, really confused about what to do with the ingredients because there were so many and it was just really confusing. So this time I decided to film it and post it on my channel just in case somebody finds this recipe and needs some guidance of what to do. Um, so here are the ingredients you are going to need. Tofu vegetable oil, unsalted peanuts, brown sugar, it asked for dark brown sugar but I only have light brown, broccoli, I ended up using all of this broccoli, sriracha if you do not like hot food don't use it, a shredder, cilantro, lemon, sesame seed oil, quinoa, unsalted coconut milk, if you have a food processor, you can use that. If not, you can always use a blender. Two garlic cloves. Rice maker. If you don't have a rice maker, you can always make it on the stove. Tofu is usually stored within a liquid. So what I'm going to do is drain some of this liquid off the tofu so that it's easy to cook when it's ready to be cooked. So I'm just putting some paper towel onto a plate and then I'm going to put the tofu on top of the paper towel and then I'm going to put more paper towel on top of that and add something heavy on top. But you do not want it to be too heavy otherwise it's going to smush the tofu. Um, what this does is just squeeze some of the water out of the tofu. And then I'm going to take the shredder and I'm going to shred the lemon zest off of the lemon. So the recipe asks for three medium lemon, but these lemon are really large. So I'm just going to use two large lemon instead of three medium lemon. So I'm going to just squeeze the lemon juice out of the lemon into this bowl. And then once I'm done, I'm going to set the lemon juice and the lemon zest aside and prepare the other ingredients. Garlic is usually really hard to peel, so I learned a little trick that you can learn from me. It's in one of my cooking videos, so if you click on this link, it will lead you right to it. Alright, so I'm going to split off the cilantro into like halves, and then I'm going to put the other half aside. And then I'm going to peel the leaves off of the stems and put it in the cup. And then I'm going to add the unsalted peanuts to the blender cup. And then I'm going to add sriracha. Remember, if you do not like sriracha or spicy food, do not put sriracha. And then I'm going to put the lemon zest. And then after that, the lemon juice. And then the sesame seed oil. Um, and then I'm going to put the brown sugar and then the salt. And then I'm just going to blend everything together. And then once I blend it, I'm going to put it into another bowl and set it aside and start working on the second part of this ingredient. You're going to start making your quinoa. You're going to need two cups of quinoa. So the recipe asks for 14 ounces of coconut milk, but I only have 13.5 ounces of coconut milk, so it will have to do. And I did not also put in the vegetable broth. It asks for one and a third cup of vegetable broth, but I ended up putting water instead of vegetable broth because I forgot to get the vegetable broth but water still worked um, you're going to add the salt and then you're just going to mix it and then you're going to put it on the stove and cook it until it's done next you're going to want to start cooking your tofu however you want it I decided to fry mine um, so while the tofu is being cooked, you're going to cut the carrots into rounds 
and you're going to cut the broccoli. So I ended up using all of that broccoli, like I said at the beginning of the video, and then I ended up using like 12 of those baby carrots. So once you are done cutting them, you're going to put them in a pot of water and add a little bit of salt, and then you're going to put it on the stove and boil it until it's done. Then you're going to put your tofu into a bowl and set it aside, and then you're going to start working on that leftover cilantro that we set aside. Once the broccoli and the carrots are cooked, you're going to turn off the stove and drain the remainder of the water off of the carrots and the broccoli and set that aside. And then you're going to work on putting everything together. So for this, I only ended up putting one cup of quinoa into the bowl instead of both cups of quinoa because the sauce that we made was not enough to cover both cups of quinoa. Um, once you have put the sauce into the quinoa, you're just going to mix it and then you're going to add in the tofu and the broccoli and carrots and mix everything together. So the leftover cilantro that we put aside is to garnish the meal after it is put together and ready for serving. Thank you so very much for watching this video. I hope your curry turns out magnificent. Thank you so much and I hope to see you next time.